what's everyone it's Dave coming to you live from location X and we are back with our next reading of the New Testament uh, I am at work so I'm going to be looking this direction where my screen is um, and I'll be using Bible.com uh, which I've talked about in every single one of these videos uh, in regards to the um, New Testament readings so proof again that Bible.com is perfect if you don't have a Bible handy uh, it is perfect and you can uh, read the Bible pretty much whenever you want to so for those of you who've been following along you know that we are in the book of 1st Corinthians and we're going to start on chapter 12 today now there are only 16 chapters in 1st Corinthians so we're almost done with it and uh, so we're going to talk about spiritual gifts unity and diversity unity and diversity in one body and that's it so we got a total of 31 verses with two topics so uh, let's double check in here yep that's it so uh, let's go ahead and get started shall we all right now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I do not want you to be ignorant you know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols. However, you were led. Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed, and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are different diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one of the prophet of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit, to another the workings of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to, to another different kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues, but one in the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and all have been made to drink into one spirit. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. If the foot should say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would be the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would be the smelling? But now, God has set the members, each one of them, in the body, just as he pleased. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? But indeed, now, there are many members, yet one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor the head to the feet, I have no need of you. No, much rather, those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable on these we bestow greater honor, and our unpresentable parts have greater modesty. But our presentable parts have no need. But God composed the body, having given greater honor to that which lacks it, that there should be no uh, schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. And God has appointed these in the church, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, after that miracles and gifts of healing, helps, administration, variety of tongues, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles. Do you have the gifts of healing? Do you speak with tongues? Do all interpret, but with earnest, earnestly desire the best gifts and yet I show you a more excellent way 
So that concludes chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians. I hope you all have enjoyed our reading. Uh, sorry for the noise. If it's noisy, it, it is to me, but it may not be to you. So, <laughs> anyways, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, hope you guys have an amazing, what is today? Monday. Hope you all have an amazing Monday. And from Location X, as always, God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not.